Here in downtown Madison, volunteers are out and about distributing thousands of dollars in winter clothing, coats, hats, gloves, you name it, all of it donated by the community. And homeless advocates say it's the most they've ever seen, and it's all thanks to one posting on Facebook. Thursday afternoon, the trucks rolled in and volunteers were quick to load them up. This is more than I've ever seen. This is a hundred times more than I've ever seen. This is amazing. 13 pallets of donations from the community and local businesses, not to mention several SUVs of clothing donated by Walmart and $30,000 in winter outerwear from Land's End. We really were able to do a lot with a little and hopefully what we do tonight will mean a lot to people who really have a need. But for many, the effort means so much more than simply handing out clothing and food. It's the message of caring that comes with every donation. Just tell them that we care, you know, and I think that's important, that somebody cares about them and that they matter. Uh, and I think that's kind of the message of tonight. After loading up the trucks, volunteers headed downtown and started handing out supplies to a waiting crowd of nearly 100 homeless. What's this, a coat? Yes, coat. Thank you. Socks. 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 Uh, Sleeping bags. For outreach groups like Project Babies, which helps hundreds of single mothers and their children, the donations couldn't have come at a better time. Especially now for winter wear, uh, 18 months and older, and for young infants. And we just did not have enough on our shelves to be able to answer all of the needs. So this is an amazing, amazing help. Homeless advocates say that tonight is only just the beginning. All of the connections that they made with local groups and businesses, they plan to expand on that and create even more outreach initiatives in the future. Now, if you weren't able to donate with this current drive and want to contribute after tonight, just head to our web channel at WKOW.com. We posted information on tonight's web story and how you can donate to the cause. In Madison, Gordon Severson, 27 News.